Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I'm Vicky, if you're new, and if you're not new, you already know what's up. You already know the deal, okay? So thank you so very much for returning for another video with your girl, okay? So before we get into it, I just wanna say, make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? Hit that subscribe button. So you can stay hooked up with your girl. Every time I drop a video, I drop new videos every week, okay? So do that, okay? Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in because I have an awesome video for you guys today. I'm going to be spilling all the tea, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna be giving away all my secrets, all my tips and tricks for how I was able to lose not 10, not 15, not 30, not 50, but 63 pounds, okay? And not only did I lose 63 pounds, but I did it in four months. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieved that, then stay tuned, okay? Did y'all ever just be like, for real, like, you just have a day where you like filming yourself? Like you like, oh yeah, <laughs> bad. <sighs> Anyways, guys, yes. All right, well, let's just get right on into it, okay? Okay. go ahead and jump right on in guys and today first of all I'm just gonna say side note if you guys see me looking down it's because I have some notes here so there are just some um, key points that I want to make sure I hit for you guys because sometimes your girl can get way off subject and we don't got time for that today I'm gonna be showing you not showing you well showing you but more so telling you how I lost 63 pounds okay and not only did I lose 63 pounds but I did it in four months I know for some of you guys that sounds like whoa um, but I used a few different things to help me hit my target and kind of expedite the process at the same time so um i lost these 63 pounds back in 2019 so last year um i actually started in mid january so my birthday was january 15th and i actually started a few days before my birthday because i remember my birthday rolling around and i could not even enjoy a piece of birthday cake because i would not let myself i had already told myself mentally that i was going to stick through this and I was going to push forward I was not going to indulge nor were nor was I going to give in to temptation so January 2019 is when I started by May of 2019 I had completely lost the 63 pounds um, and I'll insert some clips to kind of show you guys what I'm talking about I did semi document the process even though back then I wasn't vlogging guys it was really purely just so that I could look back on it and kind of track my progress um, so anyways from January to May of 2019 is when I lost that weight and how did I achieve this you ask well let me tell you there were a couple things that your girl did to make sure she was hitting her goals every week okay so I would set weekly goals for myself that way you're not looking at one big giant goal like oh my god I gotta lose 50 pounds oh my god I gotta lose 100 pounds if you set weekly goals for yourself it's a lot easier to maintain your progress and continue moving forward towards your ultimate goal okay so i would set weekly goals for myself um and i believe at the time it was anywhere from like 12 
10 to 12 pounds is kind of like my goal that's what I was aiming for every week and so um, what I used to help me hit those target goals every week was intermittent fasting if you don't know what that is intermittent fasting is not a diet intermittent fasting is more of a pattern of eating okay so something similar to like your alternate day fasting they all fall under the same umbrella they're all patterns of eating so it's not when someone says oh i intermittent fast they're not talking about a diet or a diet plan intermittent fasting alternate day fasting don't dictate what you eat or how much you eat necessarily but the times that you can eat okay so I actually did what we refer to as the 16 8 so I fasted for 16 hours in a 24 hour period and I allowed myself to eat for eight hours out of that 24 hour window so I did that and my time slot that I allowed myself to eat was from 10 a.m to 6 p.m. Now granted, I'm a nurse. I work 12 hour shifts. My shift uh, typically starts at 7.30 in the evening. And so 6.30, I'm walking out the door. So a lot of times I would, you know, that 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. kind of fell within my sleeping window. But at the time, because I did not, I had a two-year-old um, daughter and I didn't take her to daycare. She actually stayed home with me at the time. And so I was actually up with her for the majority of the day. How I did it, don't ask. That's a whole separate video, y'all. But anyways, I was up with her throughout the majority of the day. And so once 10 o'clock came, 10 a.m., I would allow myself to go ahead and break my fast and have something to eat. So intermittent fasting is what I did in conjunction with alternate day fasting. So alternate day fasting is simply, um, simply what it sounds like. So you fast every other day. So you alternate days, okay? So you alternate days of eating with days of fasting. So if Monday you eat, Monday is your eating day, then Tuesday you would fast. And by fast, I mean you would have nothing but water. Sometimes um, some people actually do drink black coffee. You can't add cream or sugar to it, but coffee doesn't sit very well with my stomach. And so I would just strictly have water or my fasting days. So I did that alternate day fasting in conjunction with my intermittent fasting. And so what that means is on my eating days, I would still fast the 18-6. So for 18 hours of my eating day, I fasted. And then for that six hour, I mean eight hour, sorry, window from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. is when I would allow myself to eat. So I did that for the whole time period from January until May, okay? So that's the first key of how I was able to lose so much weight and hit my target goal every single week. The second thing I did in order to kind of keep myself on track was to calorie count, okay? Um, it's very important to count your calories when you're trying to lose weight because it's as simple as in versus out. If you are taking in way too many calories, more calories than you're burning, you will never lose weight, okay? So I actually counted my calories on my eat days. Um, and what I kind of used to help me do that was to calculate my TDEE, okay? total daily energy expenditure and so you can actually go to tdeecalculator.net and i'll probably pop it somewhere up here on the screen so you can see exactly what i'm talking about but you go to that site and it will ask you a series of questions 
Um, it'll ask you your height, your weight, your gender, um, and your activity level. So if you're sedentary, if you're active, what you know, it'll ask you a series of questions. You plug those in, and what that will do is calculate your um, basically how many calories your body needs just to solely function, which is your basal metabolic rate, okay? Um, so what that means is if you if you just laid in the bed all day long, that is exactly what your body, the amount of calories your body would need to burn just to run normal body functions. Um, just, you know, to operate your lungs, your heart, to breathe, your metabolism, just normal daily functions without you getting up and doing a thing. That is your basal metabolic rate. And so anyways, I kept my calorie um, restriction like right around that uh, region because I wanted to make sure I was maximizing um, the amount of calories that I burned on a daily, you know, day to day. So that is very important. I would definitely recommend doing that. Um, something else I would definitely recommend is getting two apps I would recommend. The first one is the Lose It app. Um, just you can go to the app store on your phone and actually just type in Lose It and the app will pop up and that is an awesome app oh my god so i use that app guys literally no lie legit i use that app from january to may non-stop religious you can track so what it does is it allows you to track all your meals okay you literally input your meals like the amounts um and actually it'll allow you to like scan barcodes on different packages and um boxes or whatever it is that you're consuming and it will automatically bring up how many calories are in that serving and so it's an awesome awesome app to be able to track how many calories exactly to the t that you are taking in and i actually went out to walmart and purchased a um, a food scale so that I could literally weigh my food and plug in the exact amount that I was consuming. And doing that, guys, no lie, that was one of the game changers for me in allowing me to lose so much weight, okay? Because like I said, your girl lost 63 pounds 63 pounds that's a lot of freaking weight okay and i didn't it didn't take me a year it didn't take me 10 months it didn't take me six months i did it in four months no lie and so that was one of the things that allowed me to be able to do that um something else another app i would recommend you guys try is the zero app okay and basically the zero app just allows you to stay on track and on target with your intermittent fasting especially if you're a newbie a beginner um, it's nice to have something to kind of keep you on target so i would recommend definitely hitting up your app store on your you know device your phone and look up those two apps specifically check them out i think you will definitely like them and they will be helpful to you so something else that i did to help me reach my goal weight guys was to incorporate a ketogenic diet and so by ketogenic diet what i mean is i rarely rarely um consumed any carbs and so basically uh i didn't allow myself to go over 20 net carbs a day so what are net carbs how do you calculate net carbs so net carbs if you look at the back of actually so I have this, so I have this little um, nature bar, whatever here, okay? 
And if we look at the nutrition facts on the back, okay, you guys will see that there is a total carbohydrate uh, section and it says 27 grams, okay? So I'll just kind of show that to you there. So there's, you see at the top, it says total carbohydrates. So in order to get the net carbs, you wanna take the total carbohydrates and you actually want to minus that dietary fiber, okay? You see the dietary fiber underneath the total carbohydrates? You wanna minus that. So it will be 27 minus three. And that is how you would get or you would then be left with your uh, total net carbs, okay? So um, in a 24 hour period, I would not allow myself to eat more than 20 net carbs. And that is how I was able to stay in a ketogenic state. Um, therefore, um, causing my body to go into ketosis and staying in ketosis in order to maximize the amount of fat that I was able to burn over that period of time, okay? So again, exactly, that is how your girl lost all of that weight. <laughs> ah, for real though, that is how I lost all that weight. And the last thing that I did to help me maximize all that damn weight that your girl burned off was to incorporate some exercise. So, I did not go crazy, okay? Because like I said, your girl was super overweight. My starting weight was 235 pounds, okay? I'm not tall by any means. And so what that meant is for your girl that placed me in the, <laughs> in the morbidly obese category, okay? So I wasn't able to do a whole lot, especially in the beginning. Um, I got really tired really quickly. And so I kind of had to take baby steps. And so what I kind of forced myself to do was to walk one mile five days a week. So I have a treadmill, thank God. And so when the weather was not the best, I would go and get on my treadmill and I would push myself to walk for at least one mile. Now, give or take, some days I would do a little bit more, um, but it was always at least around that one mile mark, okay? And what I really think helped me um, kind of like push it up a little bit more is by incorporating HIT. H-I-I-T. So what HIT is basically is a high intensity interval training. And so what I would do is I would walk for five minutes, you know, just at a steady pace, walking, walking, walking. And then for 60 seconds or one minute, I would jog at a fast pace, okay? And for me, in the beginning, that was super difficult because I got really tired and winded. I couldn't breathe. I felt like I was gonna pass out. But over time, it got better and I was able to build up my endurance, okay? But by incorporating that hit, those intervals of steady, you know, just a steady pace walking with the fast paced jog, you know, alternating. Um, it definitely helped me, I believe, to really maximize the amount of calories that I was able to burn. So another tip that I wanna tell you guys is when you work out, you wanna make sure that you are working out in a fasted state. If you work out after you have eaten a meal, you won't burn as many calories as if you work out on an empty stomach in a fasted state. And the reason for that is, is because when you are fasting, 
um, before you break your fast, your body is having to burn the, um, your body's fat basically during the workout to maintain the level of activity that you're doing. And so ultimately you'll end up burning more calories. So I would always work out in the fastest state. I would never, you know, go eat a meal or break my fast and then go work out. I would always get my workout in and then wait for my window to open and then go eat, okay? Um let's see. Oh. So something else I wanted to mention to you guys. So some sample meals. I know some of you guys are probably like, well, what the heck, Nikki, what did you eat during this period of time? Like, okay, yeah, you told us what you did and you intermittent fasted with alternate day fasting, but what, like, what are some things that you ate? So during this period of time on my eat days, when it was my window of time to eat, I would eat things that were, like I said, low in carbs, okay? Higher in protein count. You definitely want to cut out sugar. So I would eat things like a sample meal for me would be in the morning, like if it was 10 a.m. So if it was like first thing in the morning when I'm breaking my fast, I might have um, two or three eggs with a slice of cheese my i would prefer like swiss cheese okay on top of the eggs and then like a side of like bell pepper or if um i didn't i wasn't really feeling the eggs i would maybe have a beyond meat burger patty um and you can get those like at your local target you can get them you can't get them at walmart i don't think but normally like your local grocery store sometimes will carry them definitely like i said target so anyways i would eat the beyond meat burger patty and then i would have like a side of cauliflower because cauliflower is really low in the carbohydrates so i would do that um or i might have zucchini pasta with a little parmesan cheese and pesto sauce really low again in carbohydrates like i said um, something else I liked was the Premier Protein Shakes. Oh my gosh. I love the caramel and the vanilla kind. But they have so many different flavors. They have banana, they have cookies and cream, they got chocolate, strawberry. Um, yeah. And they probably have more. But the main two that I really liked, like I said, was the caramel and the vanilla. And so what I would do is I would actually use that as a meal substitute. So I will say, disclaimer, I do not recommend snacking. If you're going to do this, go, go hard or go home is what I'm trying to say, okay? So I don't recommend snacking. I would say try to stay away from snacking if you can. Try to eat your meal. Try to eat something that's going to keep you satiated. Um, a couple of the things that I snacked on during that time period to kind of, you know, keep me from really full blown just going buck wall and breaking what I had going on, breaking my uh, diet was the just the cheese bars and you can actually purchase those from amazon i actually will order them on amazon and have them shipped directly to my house so i'll actually insert like a little clip or picture to show you guys what i'm talking about but those are super good they're basically just fried cheese um so no carbs um and you get some protein in that. Something else I would snack on on occasion are the little bags of Wisp um, Cheese Crisp. And so I know for a fact you can get those at Target and Walmart because I have seen them there many, many times. Um, but like I said, you know, you want to make sure that if you are snacking on any of these things that I mentioned that you snack on them in moderation, okay? Because your girl is not trying to be the reason for you falling off the wagon. So remember, moderation, okay? Um, something else are the smart cakes. And they are 
gluten free, sugar free, and they are keto friendly. And they look like little muffins. They come two to a pack. Um, and they are really, really good. They have different flavors like cinnamon, chocolate. Um, so you kind of just, you know, get whatever appeals to you. But they're really good little snacks for, <clears throat> you know, if you just want. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh, COVID, y'all. But anyway. They're really good little snacks if you just want something sweet or, you know, you got a craving for some cake or something, you know, like that. So that's another good alternative and you can get those at Walmart or you can order them online. I will link the, I will link all of the, um, all of the Amazon links for these different foods that I'm mentioning to you guys in the description box below, okay? So make sure you check that out after you finish watching this video. And another little snack that you guys can also check out if you're really wanting something sweet are the Smart Sweets. And so what they are is they are, um, little candies you can get different ones they have like the sour rings they have the fish you know like the um swedish fish but these are like their version of the swedish fish they have gummy bears so yeah so you can get the candies that kind of still keep you you know the keto friendly candies or whatever um, and then if you want something a little bit more healthier, like I said, definitely stick with the berries if you're going to munch on some snack. And then also on occasion, I would also just um, <clears throat> snack on the cheese sticks or the cheese wheels that you can get from like, you know, the grocery store, Walmart in the grocery section. And so I would snack on those. Um, and last but not least, because this is getting a little long and your girl is not trying to ramble. I'm not trying to keep you guys on here all day, but I just wanted to really pump some information out for you guys. Just some general information of how I was able to lose so much weight in such a short amount of time. And, um, one really key helpful thing that really kept me on track and you know gave me a lot of knowledge were youtube okay youtubers so i'm going to link down below again in my description box um a few youtubers or youtube channels i'll say that really helped me gain some more knowledge about fasting and intermittent fasting and then also um just some channels to kind of keep you motivated while you're on this journey this weight loss journey okay so that is it for this video guys for this video i am done if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, um, definitely drop them below in the comment box. And then also, if you have any questions, you can also reach out to me on either one of my social media platforms. So you can message me on my Instagram page. Link it will also be in the description box below or my Facebook page. That link will also be in the description box below. So until next time, you guys, I love you so very much. Ah! Shout out to all my new subbies. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to bring more content to you guys. Shout out to my old subbies. Thank you for rocking with your girl. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Until later. Bye guys.